Well, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. I was just applying some lip gloss. This is Kylie's lip gloss over my lipstick combo. I leave the combo details in the description bar, but welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review in swatches of um, Iricel, Iricel Baleen's um, Miss Amores palette. Y'all, I've had this uh, palette for what, a month now, but I've been so busy. So, um, thank you guys for being patient, but if you don't know who Iricel is, I'll link her in the description bar. But she's absolutely amazing. I love her spirit. I love her channel. I don't even understand Spanish, but because of her, I want to go out and learn it, okay? She is so funny. She's smart. And I'm, I was so happy when she uh, partnered with e.l.f. to come out with this um, lip palette. It's like lipstick, lip gloss, etc. And when I ordered this from e.l.f., it also came with this bag. I showed this in my haul video. I'm going out of town soon, so this is going to be my makeup bag, y'all. It has like a compartment on the inside right here where you can put your brushes. You can put your brushes in here. What else? There's like two, so I'm going to be using this for my brushes and like pencils and stuff like that. It's really, really deep and I love the color. And here it says Iricel Baleen and Elf Cosmetics. And you just zip it up. It's really, really cute. can fit in your uh, purse. I don't carry a purse on a daily basis unless I travel. So this is going to be staying in my purse. Like you know makeup that I need right away so this is what the palette looks like I believe it was 16 or 18 dollars I would double check that and list it in the description bar for you guys um this lip palette has how many six shades and you can see them um, it's too bright in here so I'll just do it like this and it also came with a lip brush and I'm gonna be using this lip brush today even though I ordered um, a lip brush from elf because I didn't know that this would have a lip brush in it why why would it enjoy it? but anyways I just ordered another lip brush from elf but it also has a mirror which I love so that way you don't need to struggle to apply you can just apply it using the mirror and I think I'm going to use the mirror today just so we can see how everything works out so again if you don't know who Iricel is I will um, link her she's really really funny some of you guys already know her some of you don't go check her out so you guys so enough of my rambling I will take this off and I will see you guys in a second
welcome back so this is going to be review time and first of all I just want to say that where have I been because using a lip brush has just changed my life y'all like not just for lipsticks but for liquid lipsticks just to get that great application you know what I'm saying and if you were wondering in between swatches I used an elf cleansing cloth best in the game I've said this five million times so I was using that in the middle to clean off the um, lipstick so I can you know reuse it to apply and it worked out very very well I just cleaned it right now and there's nothing on there so it works amazing so pros 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 this brush is life-changing I feel like I'm gonna use it outside of this palette for my liquid lipsticks ex lipsticks etc you feel me so I wanted to see because a good thing about the lip palette is that um, you can create so many looks so many shades with all the colors so that I like about that um, this color is a combination of I'll show you yes there's, there's holes in it now um, that's the one thing about the palette though but that I mean if it was a lipstick you would not see the holes because you can keep reapplying well with a palette you have to dig deep literally to get what you want the color payoff that you want so I feel like these holes that I put in my palette is equivalent to two to three layers of lip of lipstick but the, I didn't need that much but you know me I'm extra so without me digging holes into my palette you probably needed a little bit to go a long way but I just wanted it to be pigmented I wanted it to be popping so that's why you guys see the holes in my palette but if you have lip palettes like people who bought the Anastasia lip things they all have holes in it right now so I was thinking the same thing like dang like y'all got holes in it already and you just got it but that's what happens when the lipsticks is departed into something like this it'll happen so this lip combo that I'm wearing is one two three so my favorite colors I'm sure you guys could tell in the video I really like this combination as well it's like a muted everyday wear but I don't wear makeup every day so if you do it'll be great so I have four four favorite shades or three so this three right here are bomb okay this purple I did not I wasn't expecting that I really wasn't expecting it there it is very creamy all five of all six of them are creamy and they taste amazing don't ask me why I'm tasting it but it got in my mouth and it tasted great has you know like a lipstick fragrance to it nothing too bad just like a candy muted candy lipstick fragrance but this three were life-changing so these two uh, especially this peachy one I needed a lip liner so I was in and it was kind of like patchy because a lot of neon colors tend to be like that so this was kind of sort of patchy but when I put the little when I put the lip liner around it and I mix everything together it was good to go this one I really liked as well I feel like this will be like a good base to mix like these lighter shades with you know like one two three are really light but this brown honey before the lip liner it was great but after the lip liner it was even better like I really really like this brown I liked how it matched my skin tone and it wasn't too like ashy looking you know what I mean so this palette is a1 steak sauce okay so if you are like I know a lot of you guys don't like venture into buying liquid lipsticks because you don't know what you're doing and trust me I used to be like that okay before I went crazy so this is a good recommendation to start with if you don't know what you're doing I really really like this palette especially this dark vampy color right here this one is very very promising very very promising I can see it being uh, a layer and I would use my Mac what's that color that I showed in my other video saucy little thing over it. this shade like just picture that together this shade and this one so these colors don't have any names it is just called the Miss Amores palette and I love how Edicel says it I hope I'm saying her name I know her name is Edicel but people can say Edicel so they say Iris but I'm trying to say it the right way Edicel so I really love <laughs> Yeah, okay, so for work, I, I have to speak a little bit of Spanish and I always kick myself because I can't and I have to call the office to get a translator. So I really like Iricel's channel and she also has a, a Spanish speaking channel. Sometimes I watch it and I don't, I don't even know what she's saying, but I just I just watch it anyways. But yeah, that's the same. But anyways, this palette, I don't really have anything bad to say except that this color was kind of patchy. Um, The price point was amazing. I believe 16 or $18. And... And you get this bag with it so you're not you're not you can't beat it so I don't really have anything negative to say about it 
honestly i really thought that some of these colors wouldn't work but they did they proved me wrong so thank you so much for making this itty sale and good luck to you and um yeah that's it for the video so let me know if you guys got this palette um let me know what you guys thought of the colors i really like the colors and i like that it was blendable buildable you know and i really like this combination that i'm wearing right now it's kind of hot so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see y'all in my next video bye guys